Davis, welcome to the latest episode of Cut Through the Chase. Hey, what are we talking about today? We're getting close to Christmas, right? And there is a point at where you're going to have an advantage on top of other agents if you actually get your ducks in order for the new year. What are we talking about? Listings for 2024. Correct. You got to plan now, yesterday. <laughs> Actually, today's too late, but if you haven't done it, well, you're still in time. Well, they, they call it first mover advantage. It's like any new trend. If you're first, you proportionally get so much more of the business. So a lot of people go to sleep over it. And it's important, right, that you have a good break. But I'll tell you what, when you're coming back to work, if you hit the ground running sort of 5th of January, between the 5th and the 20th of January, that's where you can grow market share really, really fast because a lot of people are, are asleep. And a lot of people like me, Diego, Diego they've set New Year's resolutions. Already? You know? Well, you know, but you know what we do, yeah. right? You have a general one too many on New Year's Eve, set New Year's, New Year's resolutions, and that's really important that you are hitting the ground in that time zone. Now, if you've got a lot of business and a lot of stock, you don't need to, but hey, probably a lot of our listeners out there, perfect time to grow market share. And the reality, though, this is one of the time that I might slightly disagree with you. I think if you don't get your ducks in order now, in October, November, December, by oh. January, you already missed the border. Because here's the thing, Davis, 15th of December is a Friday. And unfortunately, this year, we're going to be short because some years we work a little bit closer to Christmas. The reality is that most lawyers and a lot of people, that's going to be the last Friday. Eh? Yeah. Isn't it? And although I'm going to be working, we're working against the current. Then we're coming back in January. Monday, 15th of January. Now, that's a full month. Remember, Christmas is normally around the three weeks, right? Yes. This year is going to be a month that basically a lot of people are going to take off, right? Now, coming back in January, some of the photographers are going to be on skeleton stuff. You know, not the old machine is going to be working. Now, the buyers are there, but as you're listing ready to release the handbrake and hit go, because here's the other thing. Keep in mind, there is long weekends at the end of January, right? <laughs> so there is a lot of moving and parts. February too. And February parts. And Diego, I agree with you, yeah. right? The work, But a lot of people just go to sleep in those first two or three weeks in January. That's my point. Oh, absolutely. you got to be awake, <laughs> but you got to have your coffee in December so you're going to be ready to go. That's probably the worst analogy in the world. What I'm saying is be prepared at the start of December to have the listings ready for January. This is what the point of today's podcast yes, is. But if you don't, then man, you gotta come back, you gotta be knocking on those doors, you gotta be talking to people going, well, what's your agent's thoughts? Yeah, oh, they're still away on holiday, interesting. Mate, I'm back, I'm hitting the ground running. And if they're gonna make a change, they're gonna make a change then. Thanks for watching, cut to the chase. Like, share, subscribe, that's the only <laughs> thing we ask you. Always a pleasure, never a chore.